Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the tech news for Friday, September 18, 2015. In our first item of news today, we learned that AVG, yes, that AVG antivirus you might have, or AVG Internet Security, sells your browsing history to third-party companies. So that's kind of a privacy issue here. They take your browsing history and they add it with some kind of advertising ID, a little bit like Microsoft does. But this, you know what, this is worse because Microsoft looks at what you're doing and gives you an advertising ID and, you know, tries to put ads that are relevant. But here it's worse. It's they take your browsing history and they send it and sell it to other companies. I don't know. This is kind of a weird privacy issue here. But apparently there's a way to turn this feature off in AVG. And um, so, you know, I'll be looking at that in seeing if I can uh, find it, how you can uh, just delete or, you know, disable that functionality. But, you know, I, I guess because AVG is free, they think they can sell all your data and make money out of it. It's um, a little awkward, and I think this is a privacy issue. You know, your browsing history is yours, and um, I, I don't think it should be sold to other companies. Talking to talking about antiviruses, Kaspersky Labs. In the recent months uh, and weeks, well, you know what? A lot of people have been complaining that Kaspersky Labs antivirus is a nightmare to upgrade. I've seen reports all across the board about how, you know, Kaspersky is one of the good antiviruses out there, but man, they just really, really don't make it easy for you to upgrade. And you know what? I've, as a tech guy, I've seen many, many clients with problems with Kaspersky Labs, and um, it's just a nightmare to upgrade and to fix when something is wrong. I think somebody out there, you know what? That's the problem with these companies. All these experts know how to code, know how to do stuff, but you know what, they have no idea how the basic, you know, men and women using their computers um, work. These things should be really, really easy to do, but it seems that, you know, they just can't do it. Uh, so Kaspersky, uh, you know, there's no answer. To, Kaspersky has been asked about that and so on, and they just don't talk about it, but it is a nightmare. Come on, do something, Kaspersky. Screenshots of the latest leaked version of Windows 10, uh, build 10.540, have been uh, showing online. Uh, they all come from the same user, this Russian guy, uh, WZOR, that actually, um, you know, gets these leaks, leaks and, you know, shows pictures and so on. So, um, this, um, these are a few of the pictures, uh, apparently, showing off, um, you know, improved features, new functionalities, but mostly, once again, uh, Threshold seems to be an update that will be more on bug fixes, tweaking the interface, making things more stable, and um, just you know making a better experience out of Windows 10. So um, interesting to see that. And you know what? If there's no uh, build soon, I think I'll install a leaked version and show you guys the leaked version. Might be fun to have a leaked build show up here on the channel. We've had some interesting news about the Bing search engine, which is Microsoft's own search engine. Even though it's been pushed on Windows 10, even though Cortana uses it, even though it's in Edge, Internet Explorer, everywhere, Bing has only, um, the Bing usage has only gone up 1%. I guess that tells you that everybody doesn't want to use Bing and everybody probably uses Google when they want to search for something. So uh, it's interesting to see that. But, you know, another thing that I was thinking about is the fact that a lot of people use another browser. They don't use Internet Explorer. They don't use Edge. They use Chrome. Chrome brings you to Google immediately. Or they use Firefox. And Firefox defaults, depending on the country where you are, will default either to uh, Yahoo or it will default to uh, Google. It depends on the country where you are. So um, maybe it's also a thing about the fact that you know people use another browser to go on the web so Bing isn't there very really really as we are Friday um, I will be of course talking about <coughs> a few things um, I've added this little bonus feature now on Fridays where I you know put my own little observations here about different things so 
Um, here's the first thing about this. Why isn't Windows 10 at 100 million yet? The first few weeks gave us 75 million installs and now we're at three weeks since the last number was announced and we're still not and Microsoft has not released any numbers. Where is 100 million? Are we close? Are we like 97 million or 95 million? Where are we in the Windows installs? It seems that the Windows 10 installs have slowed down really to a crawl. And that's kind of uh, interesting. And um, you know what? A lot of reports about privacy problems, a lot of reports about bugs that people tell about, you know, the Windows Store crashes, stuff like that. I think people are waiting. And um, I've seen here on the comments on the channel, a lot of people also waiting for Threshold 2 in November. <coughs> so it seems that they want to make sure that it's going to, you know, work well. <coughs> Sorry. So Threshold 2 in November is uh, coming up and maybe that's going to boost the numbers. <coughs> so uh, we'll see about that. Sorry here about the cough, but I've got a little cold and when you talk for a while. It kind of makes it hard on the, the voice. And uh, last little item I want to talk about is the store, the Windows Store. Todd Bricks, which is the head honcho at um, Windows for the uh, Microsoft for the Windows Store, <coughs> was talking about the Windows Store yesterday. And what's interesting is that at some questions about you know how the Windows Store doesn't work well, and the crashes, and how there's a lot of junk. Uh, it seems he doesn't have that same point of view. He was just saying that, you know, Windows Store is great and works fine and <coughs> has some great apps and just pretty much ignored. <coughs> he did say in one little comment that there would be improvements in the weeks and months to come about the Windows Store. But, man, talk about someone that doesn't really <coughs> address an issue that is a real issue here about how the Windows Store is a problem for a lot of people and uh, how it does have a lot of uh, really bad apps out there. Of all the stores online, you know what, this is the worst of all platforms. I mean, look at the iOS and the, the uh, App Store for Mac and, um, you know, the Apple App Store for iPhones and iPad. It's pretty good. Google Play has a lot of, you know, junk, but Google Play still has a good experience under the Google Play Store. So come on, Windows. Microsoft really needs to uh, make it better. If you want to have people buying apps, you need to do something about it. And, um, you know, <laughs> I have the impression this Todd Briggs doesn't look at the store and doesn't use it really. Uh, doesn't seem to know what's everything about. So that's the latest news and observations for Friday, September 18, 2015. If you like my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about your computer, ask away. We'll try to help you if we can. And hopefully you enjoy our videos. Give us thumbs up if you like them. Helps us on the ratings. And hope to see you soon.